Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We invite you to watch the English and Chinese programs on Dominic Province Essential TV channel. On March 14th, under Chairmanship of National Assembly Chairman Fu Dinhui, the Standing Committee of National Assembly opened its 31st session. It is better that in the five days of our meetings, the National Assembly Standing Committee will consider 10 important contents. At this session, in legislative work, the National People's Committee will give comments on the explanation, reception, and correction of seven draft laws. The National Assembly Chairman informed that after this session, all nine bills expected to be passed at the seventh session of the National Assembly will be considered. Thus, the progress of preparing law projects of the government and the Standing Committee of the National Assembly concerning agencies and organizations has been active and earlier than previous sessions. Notably, at this meeting, the Standing Committee is scheduled to spend March 18th to organize questioning and answering activities for two groups of issues in the fields in charge of Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Ministry of Finance. Also, at its 31st session, the National Assembly Standing Committee will consider the National Assembly's voluntary work report for February 2024. On March 14th, the military command of the province held a meeting with representatives of religious dignitaries in the province. Attending were Deputy Permanent Secretary of the Provincial Committee, Ho Tan Sung, and Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, Nguyen Sheng Hung. Speaking at a meeting, Deputy Permanent Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, Ho Tan Sung, asked the provincial armed forces and religions in the area to continue to coordinate closely through effective models to generate a far-reaching impact, especially coordinating to have religious people while implement social security policies, build advanced new style rural areas and model new style rural areas. The provincial military command shall actively advise and promote dissemination of defense and security knowledge to religious dignitaries and followers effectively element solution to build solidarity, formally strengthen the popular position in the area. The Vietnam Association of Seafood Exporters and Processors, VSEP, proposed to consider maintaining 0% value-added tax rate for export services to ensure fairness and competitiveness for enterprises. The proposal is clearly stated in a VSEP letter sent to ministries and sectors such as finance, justice, planning, and investment, General Department of Taxation to give comments on the revised draft law on value added tax on VAT and a draft decree detailing the amended law on VAT. VSEP raised the issue in Clause 1, Article 9 of the amended draft law on VAT. All export services will be subject to 10% VAT except for some services specified in details in this clause. According to VSEP, the above regulation is not reasonable because according to international practice, other countries impose a tax rate of 0% on export services and allow businesses to receive input tax refunds. On March 14th, the Provincial Confederation of Labor have a briefing conference on the work of women's affairs propaganda in the first quarter of 2024. At a conference, delegates discussed many issues to improve the work of women's affairs propaganda in the coming time. Acknowledging the close comments from the grassroots, Standing Five Chairwoman of Provincial Confederation of Labor, Bui Tibetui, said that this is the basis for trade unions at all levels to have new ways of doing propaganda activities in the coming time. Trade unions at all levels need to rasp the ideology and working spirit of employees, focus on predicating examples to create the spread of good deeds, good practice of employees in present labor as well as social life. At a conference, the Provincial Employees Union handed over the logo of 800 cents of RIA to two units 
of the Labour Union of Tân Phú and Xuân Lộc districts. After more than eight years of being recognized as a qualified district in the first advanced new style rural area construction of the country, recently, Xuân Lộc district, the province, continued to be considered by Central Council for national target program on new style rural development, with 1% of members agreeing to request the Prime Minister to consider recognizing the districts as meeting the advanced new style rural standards in 2023. After reaching the new rural district in early 2015, the Parliament Committee of People's Government of Sunglop District determined that new rural construction had no stopping point based on a set of national criteria for offense star rural districts in a period of 2021-2025. Sunlop District has achieved 9 out of 9 criteria, 38 of 38 set targets. Ms. Nguyen Thinh of Mai said, In recent years, I have seen that houses and roads have been invested a lot, and people's lives have also been significantly improved. As citizen, I also hope that Sunlop will develop more and more, a breakthrough can be mentioned in the new rural construction of Sunglo is the concentration of all resources, quickly building and developing essential infrastructure for production development and improving the quality of life for the people with the motto, the state and the people work together. In particular, people are increasingly aware and invested in clean food production. Mr. Nguyen Văn Sinh said, My family grows organic durian, so the main nutrients for a tree are manure and microbial fertilizer. I also kept a diary according to VGAF regulations. The output of organic durian products is very stable. Up to now, Sunlo has 9 out of 15 products in a link chain with the VGAF certification. 13 out of 15 products in the chain have registered trademarks. In particular, the production area meeting GAF standards over 500 hectares contribute to bringing the total land area for income from 300 to 1 billion Vietnam dollars per 1 hectare to 3,000 hectares. From this achievement, my family, my relatives, and I will continue to work together and join hands to fulfill criteria so that Xuân Lộc will soon achieve a modern new style rural area. It can be seen there with hard determination and the right direction. After eight years of continuing the journey of building a new and improved rural district, Sung Lok is changing day by day for the better.